Um, now, it, it seems our citizens keep hearing that we're all in this together. Um, and I, I'm getting a lot of feedback from my constituents in, in actually wondering when the state will participate in this togetherness. Um, how do I go back to my constituents and, and tell them that hiring seven new legal positions in EOHHS is a good idea when you already have a, a staff of um, a, a mini law, law firm of 48? Well, as it relates to responses, I think I would go back to statute and what EOHHS was created to um, be responsible for. So the Medicaid program also directly manages about $1 billion. We need expertise and leadership to drive the outcomes we expect to see to deliver the highest quality services in, in a cost-effective ma uh, manner that preserves choice and equity, dignity um, for all Rhode Islanders. That position has to be filled. We need a Medicaid director to ensure that we are properly and thoroughly managing that budget. Um, that position became vacant in January. And again, it was not filled as a, as a new FTE. Those That vacancy currently existed in the EOHHS FTE cap. Um, is, is that one of the seven legal positions we're talking about? Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I did not know you asked me about legal positions. I thought you were asking me about other the EOHHS positions as a whole. No, In no, no. I was referring to the seven legal uh, new legal positions on top of the already 48. In oh, as it relates to the seven legal positions, I'm sorry, I did not hear you correctly. I thought um, so. Thank you. As it relates to those seven positions, for example, with DCYF and Kevin O'Coin, Director O'Coin, can talk further about this. We had two lawyers who um, resigned, and the lawyers at DCYF are definitely critical in helping us to ensure that we are working, um, we are working consistently and correctly to have children either return home or achieve permanency. They work in alignment and in conjunction with the staff who are working with our families. And those, if we don't have the lawyers, I would say that the um the the bench would definitely say well it's very difficult to go forward and 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 handle these cases in court so filling those two positions for example uh were again individuals who had resigned and filling those backfields um as it relates to the other positions that are listed you uh, was referenced one for dhs um i believe one for bhddh for example i would encourage those directors to also um, give additional information to help uh, justify the need. But when a child, uh, I'm sorry, when child care moved to DHS, for example, in order for us to ensure that we are indeed following through correctly and timely and, and um, in um, an appropriate manner as it relates to licensing our child care facilities, there was a need for that legal support, for example. But I'm sure Director Hawkins could give you even more insight and details into the breadth of scope of work of that particular attorney. But we are more than um, happy to provide in our uh, responses from today's hearing more details about those seven uh, positions, those the seven legal positions. 